Welcome to Max and Master Chef. I'm here with Chef Tim Love at La Piccio's in New York City, and Tim is going to cook maybe the best thing you will ever eat. <laughs> Tim, what are you making for us? Today we're going to do a little uh, grilled chicken thighs okay. with grilled hearts of palm, grilled artichokes on top of a balsamic mayo. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Absolutely. So what's the first thing we do? First thing you do, I'm going to kind of talk through cleaning an artichoke. We're going to trim the bottom here, and we're going to trim the top, just like so. And then we cut like a, a hexagon or octagon around it. See this? All the way around, but eight sides like that. Okay. And then we just peel the last little bit down like this to get some nice clean flesh right there. And then we put them into a little bit of lemon water until we can poach them. Cook them in a little bit of boiling water for a little bit, to soften them up. How long would you boil them for? Uh, about four minutes. We've got our hearts of palm here. So then we've drizzled these with a little bit of peanut oil. When I grill, I always use peanut oil because it's got a higher flash point, adds a little bit of richness to food. And then we're gonna season them up real simply, just some kosher salt and some cracked pepper. So I'll let you season the hearts of palm. I'll do the artichokes fairly liberally, okay? Perfect. Not your first rodeo. Now we got some chicken thighs here. Uh, take the skins off because we're gonna serve this on top of that mayonnaise, right? So we got enough kind of fat in the dish. Okay. Um, Is but there such can... thing as too much fat in the dish? No, not really, but. Uh, <laughs> we're pretending. You know, yeah. Sure, okay, that's fine. 2013, yeah. <laughs> so a little bit of peanut oil here, and then we're gonna use one of my rubs here. It's got a lot of smoked paprika, cracked garlic, uh, red chili powder. Salt and pepper. And this is a sort of personal tasting. You can choose your own rub, you can make your own. 100%. Rub. So, season this pretty liberally, like here. It's got a nice aroma to it's it. It's really good, yeah. It's a real barbecue smell to it. So, then on the back side, we want to make sure you get both sides when we season. Okay. Very important. Notice I'll leave the bones in there, a little bit more flavor. All right, now that we got these seasoned up and at room temperature, we're ready to go on the grill. All right, so we're at the grill. We've got some chicken thighs already going. Let's get going with the next batch. Right. Tim, what do we do? So we've got our salt and pepper on here, remember? We're gonna lay these hearts of palm on. I like to go ahead and start with the vegetables, go ahead and get them cooked and pulled off because they're great at room temperature. Now, how long would you cook these for? These are about a minute and a half a side. The grill's probably about 450 degrees. Chicken thighs on right here. These take about 15 minutes, maybe 18 minutes. When you're grilling, the hardest thing, especially for men, I don't know why, is to keep the lid shut, right? It takes patience. How long should you just, like, not even touch it? Uh, before you even think to check it? The chicken on. is about three to four minutes. Okay. With the skin, you definitely want about four minutes. We want to get a little bit crusty, a little bit crispy on the edges. Doesn't matter if it's a burger, a steak, a piece of chicken, a piece of fish. It should only be flipped once. Vegetables are about finished. Good. We're about to pull these off. We're going to hit them with just a little bit of char um, grilled lemon, okay? All it does is just caramelize the sugar that's in the lemon. Okay. Makes it slightly sweeter. Nice rosé would go well with this. You like chilled red if, it, if it's a yeah, if it's absolutely. very good. red? Beaujolais would be great with this, actually. Especially be great with the chicken. So I think this chicken right here is ready. Pull that off. All right, so let's go put this whole thing together. What do you think? Let's do it. All right. Okay, so we're finished grilling and we're back here to plate the dish. What do we do? Well, it's a moment of truth right here, Nick. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, uh, we got this little Hellman's balsamic mayo, very simple. Okay. Now, mayonnaise is one of those foods that if you don't like it, I just assume you're a sociopath. That's exactly right, yeah. It was given to man by God as, uh, as an apology for making the French. Good for him. Lay the chicken up on here like this. Okay, just straight on, yeah. straight on the mayonnaise. That's the best thing in the world. And then, that looks fantastic. And some fresh parsley on top. So this is just poured straight out of the pan. That's right, save when the chicken just rests. And then, only because you can. That's the only reason why, Nick. <laughs> That's it, right there. Okay, uh, let's, let's yeah, try. Let's again. I might need to be left alone with this chicken for a while. That is fantastic. Good, yeah, right? Really good. I've never normally liked hearts of palm, so I'm in a tree. It's, it's something you'd see at one of my restaurants called The Woodshed, okay. where we cook everything over wood. The whole restaurant's outside. Sit outside with a nice glass of red wine or a cold beer. Eat some great grilled food and makes it happen. I'm supposed to stay and be polite and talk to Tim, but see you guys. Bye. <laughs>